How's it going guys? So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be changing this stock steering wheel uh, for this NRG steering wheel. It's pretty cool, it has the little uh, yellow stripe thing. Uh, I also got the hub here. I didn't get quick release, uh, it's just more and I don't need it. Um, I did get this one on Amazon, just like $30. Uh, it does like go to your car. So what you first thing you gotta do when you're doing this is you have to go to the store and get one of these. I don't know if you can see it. So you pop these things, uh, they're for the airbag. So you need to get these. They're, I've tried many other things, but they don't come out. You need a, it's called a, a T30. Actually, I'll just show you guys what they look like. It's one of these, T30. I got this whole set. You only need the T30 though. Uh, it has like security lock things, like the ones like stars with the little hole in the middle. So that's what you're gonna need to get this out. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and pop the hood and disconnect the battery. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, so now that you got those out, those things were a pain in the ass to get out. But now once you get those out, you just kind of pull this thing out and it comes right off. And you see the airbag is still connected right there. So we're going to want to do, if you guys, is that focus right there? Oh, it's not focusing. But you want to take it off, just get a flathead and just pull this things out, the black things right here. I'll show you guys. I don't, hold on. I'm going to get a flathead real quick. Okay, now that you have your, now that you unscrew this a little bit, so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you unscrew it not all the way, okay? Not all the way, just like enough where you like you can take it out. So you're gonna wanna screw almost all the way to the end, and you're gonna wanna hit your steering wheel, okay? You're gonna wanna hit it. You're gonna wanna pull on it, and then see, steering wheel's off. Not easy. So steering wheel is off. So now what you're gonna wanna do. Now that it's off, you're gonna want to screw this whole thing out. This is a 19 millimeter, so you're gonna want you need an, uh, an adapter for it because it's, it's too deep in there. So you're just gonna want to screw it off all the way. Make sure it's all the way out. There you go. So you put this aside, and the same one should just come right off. Make sure these controls are like you take them off properly. And there's another thing connected in here. Oh yeah, and you're gonna wanna disconnect this thing right here. That is the horn, the OEM horn. If I can, I need a flathead. It's gonna use your flathead. You're gonna wanna disconnect this. There you go. And this should just go right in here. There you go. So it doesn't really matter if you break this part because you're not going to be using so I don't know if you guys can see it doesn't matter if you break this because you're not going to be using it anymore I don't know if you're going to sell a steering wheel or whatever that's what I'm going to do but just be careful with it depending so now that steering wheel is right here so the first thing you're going to want to do is going to grab your hub okay so you're going to grab your hub uh if you're going to if you're not going to install your your um your horn just skip all this but you're gonna wanna cover these up. Okay, so inside the bag where my hub came in, there's these little cables right here, and these cables are for your airbag sensor, so it shows that there's still an airbag in there. So the only thing you're gonna wanna do is gonna put them in there, and there's this also, this is the horn one, so you're just gonna wanna clamp it in there. If I can get it in there, you're just gonna press it, and then clamp. Press and clamp. Okay, so now we had a little problem with this one since I don't know why, but it's not clamping all the way. Like, it's all the way in, but it's not like, it doesn't, there's like a little chunk of like plastic that's not going in. But like, it's all the way in apparently. So that's all we can do. I mean, if this part doesn't work, we are going to need to order a new one, but we won't have a horn for now. Uh, so hopefully it does work. But so you basically just put them all in your hub right here. So I don't have a quick release, so I'm just hub and steering wheel. That's all I'm doing. So what you're gonna wanna do is you don't wanna mess this part up. This part is like more really important. So you're just gonna make sure these parts line up. So there's a little dot in my steering wheel right here. And you're just gonna push it in, right? That's, the, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna push it in and it should fit right 
there you go like it should like be you, you can feel it you basically just move steering wheel a little bit and you should be able to feel the little um there's like a little plastic thing behind the steering wheel and it needs to be like all the way in right you'll and then once you know it's all the way in you just push you just push it in right you make sure your cables are good so now that it's pushed in now that it's pushed in it should be like really tight and you're just gonna want to hide these cables in and just gonna tuck them in there somehow you got control so right here this is really important you have to make sure this line right here is aligned with this one and it's aligned with the thing that's in the back so once you get that aligned you just have to really all you do is just bolt this in and once it's bolted in, you hide the cables and you put your quick release or you just put your your um your steering wheel. So for me, I am gonna go with the horn if hopefully if it works. So what we're gonna do right now is probably set you guys up again. There you go. And just gonna tighten this thing. Make sure it's tight. You don't want it like super super tight, but you just want it tight enough. I think that should be good enough. Maybe a little bit more. I don't want this thing coming out in the middle of me driving. I think that's pretty sturdy. That's good. So we're just gonna want to hide these cables that are in here. If we can figure out a way to hide them in this little hub. Damn, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Figure out a way to hide them. Stuff them in there. I don't know. And you're gonna grab your steering wheel we don't have uh, the other part so we're just gonna want to do is connect this where is the part at? with this in here so now that's in there that's all you do you clamp it make sure that shit's in there real good and then you hide it with that and you're gonna hide the cables again hide the black one you can't do anything with it and oh yeah the horn you gotta make sure this horn is aligned there you go can you help me hide the cables <laughs> And now, in the box, hold it. There was these things right here. So what we're gonna want to do just grab this one that came in. Oh no, I dropped all the board. I'm just gonna want to tighten it. Not hate like these little things. Okay, so the only thing you gotta do now is put it in. I I did record me putting it on, um, so you guys are gonna watch that. But just be careful, cause this this like hurts a whole bunch. So what I did is just like I grab one of these and then put it in here, and that's all I've been really like just making sure they're straight and that the wheel is not like it's not like wiggly and stuff. So I'm just gonna tighten it like really good. Don't super tight. Don't like tighten it super hard, cause then you might break the nug you might break something so just make sure like it's tight enough where it's not gonna fall not hard enough for like fuck like you know all right guys so it works and everything but i only have a problem and the problem is that the horn doesn't work i do need a horn so this is my daily uh the horn doesn't work so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna order one of those new uh the oem horn thingies and hopefully it'll work with that but thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like this video please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video how's it going guys so today we're going to be continuing the video of uh my steering wheel install so i in the last part you guys noticed that my horn wasn't working so i was kind of i kind of need a horn right so i don't have a steering wheel 
I don't have a mean I don't have an airbag so I might as well just have something like a horn or something right so I didn't want to go full race car so what I did is I I'm gonna teach you guys what I did right so you basically all you have your end right here that you plug into your horn wire right yeah that's normal so what I actually did is it usually has another one of these right and your horn button but I bought one of these. It's a ring, actually. It's a ring terminal, right? So here's the one I bought. I bought it on it on AutoZone for like two bucks, right? All of these, what I did is I just cut one of my parts, one of my little cables right here, and then put this one with tape, right? So how does this work? Okay, so what it basically does is you connect this, your normal wire right here, and you connect this one right here. Oh, Brian, how does that even work? So what you do is imagine these two connected, right? I'm not going to connect them right now because I do need to fix my steering wheel because it's not straight and I have like the little line right here. So it kind of bothers me. So what I what do you do is basically connect this and this right here. OK, and you're just going to want to bolt in your steering wheel like normal. So imagine imagine doing this. OK, so imagine this going to imagine this yellow cable is connected, right? So what you're going to want to do is go behind the steering wheel and put in this and then just put it like you're putting it as normal. You bolt it in, but then imagine. Okay. Imagine this, okay? This bolt like this, and then you just put your steering wheel, right? But why does this? This is gonna work as your ground because what this this one does is this actually works as ground. So you, what, when this is hitting together, it makes it so your horn works. So every time you click the button, it activates the horn. So that's all you do. Uh, I am gonna have to fix this because it's not straight. But other than that, that's how you get your horn to work. I can't do it right now because I'm still trying to put in my steering wheel. So fix this, I mean. So uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and if you guys will have any recommendations of what to do with the Z, let me know. I either wanna go build it super nice, make it look all nice, or go for a drift car and just let me know. I'm not sure what exactly I wanna do with the Z. I do have some parts ordered and you guys will see that very soon. So if you guys like this video, like I said, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. If this video helped you, just please subscribe. See you guys in the next video, bye.